I was born in the middle of a house fire. The youngest of four siblings in a failing marriage, I was that baby that was supposed to resuscitate the body of a relationship that was nine years dead on arrival. But God damn it, my father was determined to save it, even if that meant burning us all to ash together in the end. Because of this, I grew up thinking that love wasn't real. He didn't get a little burned in the process. So please believe it when I say that I have only ever learned to love somebody the wrong way. How do you recognize the warning signs when the smoke in a burning building has always smelled just like home? My father's love was an oil slick bird cage. When my mother was finally free of it, she spent years running away from relationships as if if she were to settle down, she would wake up once again burning behind those bars. I'm convinced that there are still parts of her that never really made it out of that fire. She was replaced by a dragon. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, but I think she just didn't want to be hurt like that again. So my mother cooked up innocent men for pleasure, hung them out to dry, and usually got rid of them before things got a little too messy. As I got older, I fell in love with people who were just like my parents. Hurt women whose love branded you like a hot iron, problematic men with pyromaniac tendencies, people who didn't come with fire alarms, that I could deep dive into the flames for and pull them out of their very own wreckage, but no one can really prepare you for how painful it feels to hold on to a burning body or how quickly fire catches. Maybe that's why those relationships always failed and why I'd spent most of my time looking for an exit sign.